Here we go. And we already know there's a couple tone setters right now on the side of Carolina. Gwen has been coming out with the absolute fierceness on the main stage. That's the man to watch and see if he can start off with another hot one. It's Skid Row bad side. You need the strong opening break to try to turn things around. No Gwenny, no Winnie. And see how the Ravens fare. Great showings for both these two teams in the tournament thus far. And into P1, we will quietly creep. Nero and Jerry find their opening kills. Felony answering back, trying to get things going here again. P1, always a scrap fest. A lot of back and forth. But here on Skid Row, chances that top left-hand side of the minimap we're worried about. Oh, well, I mean, Felony's going for the time. But yeah, there's a massive square up over towards P2. Right now, Carolina Damn. not getting any of the kills on the rotation. And Felony, well, he's throwing hands, but he is catching bullets. Nero guns them down in Vegas right now. They are in prime position. They're winning the gunfights on the time. They got the rotation locked down and attached barely can be stopped. Purge popped a squat up by P2. He's going to be soaking time in a moment on a three spree as well. So, I mean, so far, Vegas Legion doing everything right. The guns are hot. They've come out swinging. It's a solid lead to begin things, and it's only going to get bigger. Here we go into P2. DJ making the cross. Those are good nades to get Geo weak, but the bullet connection is just not there. He's done such a good job of staying alive, and the stuns are on point. Virtually no one on Carolina can survive, and this is already a devastating moment. Geo's on a four spree. Purge 3-0, just collecting the time. Carolina, they can't even apply an ounce of pressure onto this time. Fellow and Gwyn have managed to make it into the building at the very least. This could be a break. Now Purge is going to be there, and the kills from Nero as well. Clay trying to fight his way out, covering fire from Geo. If Tej doesn't win this fight, and he does, that could have been streaks. Purge, though, keeps his run alive, 5-0 for him. Yeah, nice moment for TJ to get that rib, but yeah, Purge long-term is going to be a problem. When these two squads faced off, Vegas pieced them up. It was a 3-0. It was not close, and Clayster dropped a .5. He continues to struggle against Vegas right now. He's 1-7. TJ is just now 2-6. Carolina, they got their work cut out for him. Yeah, slow start here for the Ravens. They've got themselves into the back alley, though. So P3's up, and they're ready to go. How long will they hold it, though? It's on Gwyn, trying to find the kills in the middle of the map. Nero helps Purge here, trying to get those streaks. Clay ends the spree there. You've still got time going the way of the Ravens. Counter-attack now on for the Legion. Yeah, Clay's are picking up a nice little two-piece there as well. Shutting down the streaks is important, but now the break might just be in. Attach showing up in the kill feed as well. Last man standing on time is Felony. He does not last long at all, and that is a clean and efficient break there from Vegas. They took their time to get the spawns. They overwhelm them with that pressure. In Vegas right now, they are just playing the map perfectly. Geo locking it down. 8-5. He keeps the kills going. Final 20 seconds could be going the way of Vegas. Legion can Geo hold them back. He does. He gets both Fellow and Clayster. Now looking for his next set. Can he get streaks this time round? No. We've really cursed it once more. But attach back at it as Vegas Legion are running the show on Skid Row. Well, the problem is Gwen doesn't have much help. It's only one player nearby and attach. Locking down the power positions. The kills are just falling into their laps. And Gwen, last man standing, has no help around the point. Finally, the reinforcements are through. But it's easy cleanups from Nero. And Gwen continues just to fight for his life. The trades that were there, Vegas get another break on the time. And frankly, they are making it look easy. It's an incredibly one-sided game in the kills department. My word, Purge has died once. Geo on a rampage. 12 and 8 for him. The rest of his teammates all following suit. Wonderful start here from Vegas Legion. Still keeping control of the hard point. We go over to a new top right-hand side of the minimap. That's where business is taking place right now. The next 20 seconds are looking very solid indeed. And another streak opportunity as well. They're nice for the break on P5. But you don't Dang. have to break if you're the first ones there. Nero just soaring through. He's got Geo from the hell. But Geo now has a, a big moment. Trapped in between two players in Carolina. Clear them out and take care of business. This is the first opportunity Carolina have really had to get any points. But Vegas, their breaks have been perfect. Vegas. Perfect so far. Kills department, the score line, you name it. I wonder how the comms sound. Let's go for a listen in with Las Vegas Legion. You want your scratch? Okay, listen, play your scratch. You do one shot. Absolutely, I'm running out there. Yeah, we're stuck. Close scratch. Stuck close scratch, guys. P2 going. P2 going. Bottom P2. You still want to be two? Sure. Take our timer, take our timer. Yeah. I'm not in garage. Let's check our dumpster. Oh, garage, absolute garage. Behind the center block. Behind okay. the center block, I'm done. Hello. The, the guy garage went back like I'll outside. I'll see you guys. I'm not sure. I'm not in garage. Clay's close. Can we stop? Close shots. Sure. Clay done. Nice shot. Clay's not in garage. Watch out. Bottom two. 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 Bottom
Two go outs. Make yeah, sure yeah, we get yeah, this next P2 after yep, this, by the way. We will win. DK, we're going. Uh, Slow play ups. DK not going to work whole actually. Top plaque play. Do have a trophy? They have a trophy? I'm getting the heady. I'm getting the heady. Stop playing. He's waiting. He's just waiting. Just wait there. Wait there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Top the plat and on time. There's two on time. for one. I have a I have a trophy. 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 I have a Fantastic listening there from Vegas Legion. You heard Purge in the comms. If we get this next P2, we basically win. Leading from the front right now. Well, that P2 is up and about in a few moments chance. And what a comeback though from the Ravens. They're still fighting. I made it to come back, but you traded away the P1 time to listen to those comms of Purge. He made his move to P2. That is his home. He's been in there this entire time. They're just waiting for the hill to pop. And in two seconds, they're making that appearance. Carolina so far away in Purge. That is only his ninth kill but he has just existed inside the hard point. Carolina basically not shooting back. Essentially true. We'll find out how the next hard point goes. An important one indeed. Over 200 points we now go. Attach on the cutoff. Can't get both. Over to the hard point. Purge doing what he can from up top. It is perfect gameplay so far. Clayster unable to infiltrate the zone. TJ now. Ooh, brings down one before being traded out. Felony now trying to get things going. Can you get in there, Ravens? You've got to go, boys. You're running out of time. Well, it's still Purge up top, though. Half of the kills he's got in this game have been from inside the time. There are two players now for the Ravens that are underneath them, but he's been on point winning these gunfights from up top, and he remains on point. That's a five spree from inside the time. Oh, come There's on. There's the cruise missile as well. The objective liver right now in Purge. Well, he called the game correctly. It is all but over Vegas Legion they set themselves up this is an embarrassment of a map one it's an absolute purge masterclass he's on a six spree 14 and three and I can only imagine a tremendous amount of hill time Vegas Legion an absolutely devastating performance to start the series off and it is an absolute shame that the stats are still broken in this game because if we could see him the objective kills Persia has had I think virtually every single one of them was from inside the time both b2s he played up top the entire time and if you're not applying the pressure on the guy inside the hill it is just going to be comfortable 14 in three Woo. I mean, that might be one of the most unique stat lines we've had in respawn in the entire CDL era. Three deaths is clinically absurd. I mean, that's ridiculous. And again, for Ravens, that's an embarrassing map one. That is not going to be easy to bounce back that's, from. That's not a nice start. That's a bad start. There's no getting around that one. As we look across the stats, uh, very, very particular, unique setup we've seen here. But for Purge, doing everything right, Chance. I think it's one way of putting it. He's playing for the objective. He's playing for the team. He doesn't have to be taking gunfights. He's not doing anything fancy or flash. He's just trying to get his boys the win. Absolutely. I mean, don't make any mistakes. 14 and 3, he is just the super soaker of that game. Oh, that yeah. means his teammates are putting in incredible work. And it was right from the opening break they won the opening break i think attach went on like a four or five spree just to start the game winning the gunfights in p1 as they are had that rotation towards that new hill but that is one of the best stat lines you could possibly have as a collective team there from Vegas. But it's just the high right. Again, more than half of his kills. I think almost every single one of them was from that top <laughs> E2 area. <laughs> from within the hard point, finding kills. His score was fantastic, I'd imagine. And also streaks. We didn't even see his crews come out. There was no need for it. So Vegas Legion playing with their food there. The Carolina Royal Ravens, they were shot down from the sky plucked and uh, I suppose roasted might broil them. There's all sorts of options you've got there for Ravens. I've never had one myself personally, but I'm sure they tasted good in that first map. Map number two is on its way, but the highlights are going to be all Vegas all day. It, that truly is a map as well that like, you know, we've seen some of Carolina stats. We've seen the team. They've collapsed at times. They're like game two compared to their game fives is absurd. So this is not a team that is exactly proven that they have those capable bounce backs. I know there are a lot of Lanimals on that stage, but a devastating map like that, not going to be ideal to go into that map number two. Maybe some good news. They made the adjustments in the pick and ban. So it's a new S&D map we're working with. So you don't have to see the same one we saw in their series online. The last time they played, Vegas did beat them in a 6-1 fashion. And that is just a game 
I mean, not even remotely close. Nope, not even close to it. Close it was uh, as it got was the start after P1. And then, boy, howdy, did Vegas Legion take off. No looking back whatsoever. Well, GG's, that's done. Skid Row Hardpoint, an absolute masterclass there from Vegas Legion. Ravens asking for a little bit more. And I can see the time. Purge had three minutes and 40 seconds inside of the Hardpoint. I mean, what's the quick math on that? That's 180 plus another 40. He had 220 seconds of the 250 for his team. I mean, that's ridiculous. If it wasn't for the fact that he was rotating towards B2, he literally couldn't got all 250 seconds while his team 3 v 4 Welcome to the main stage. And this is still just a loser's bracket matchup. I would take that and make that my sort of like Twitter banner if I were purged. That is a great That, that moment. might be a record, that honestly. It is. It's a new record. It's oh, yeah, KD yeah, as well you. at 4.6. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> My guy Purge. I mean, he's not Kleenex off the top spot there with a 4.17, which I would imagine was a, a pretty ridiculous one. Well, we're not the only people who are amazed, surprised, and maybe even aroused by Purge's performance there. We've got a lot of tweets coming through as well as the Bird app, which is now known as X.com, is absolutely jumping this. Our boy Jay Stud, Mr. Fundamental. You are not wrong, Jay. Actually, Study would know. He plays a lot of ranked with Purge as well. That's a, that's a good shout there. And Chris wants him to be the mayor of Vegas. Chris, I'm not sure about that one uh, i don't know how many hills there are in the in the in the vegas area but uh he can take him brother but there we go purge nothing but love going his way and rightfully so charles i mean look he evaluates the right things in game so i trust his physical posse as well get that man in office i'm willing to take a shot but that is at least just game number one i know if you're on the side of carolina you just pretend that it didn't happen it no longer exists you wash it out of your mind and you move your time and attention towards the karachi s and oh. they haven't had a good record on this map all year long but they found their first taste of success on Karachi search just yesterday against Miami where they got their first win so the adjustments in the time that has been put in for Carolina it's been shown off a little bit but we get that true test now again here we go map two Last time we saw this map, Clay went on an absolute tear. And of course, Purge, as if you didn't need to know, guys, he has taken the hill time record. He has topped Dashi with 179 seconds. Purge, outstanding. We may not see anyone break that. Yeah, I was about to say, I think that might be the all-time record, all let alone time. just from this year, like 220 seconds. That's just ridiculous. But here we go, s &D. Pace is going to be slowed down, but not for Purge. He's the playmaker on this map. He's already found the route, and he's all but assuredly going to get a freebie kill. Maybe not the first blood, depending on when the action breaks down, but there you go. Felony gone. That's bombed down as well in Carolina. Well, nobody's around for the trades. Glacer doesn't even shoot back, doesn't hit a bullet. Purge 2-0. Oh. Win and TJ. Well, they got a lot of work to do. When did Major 2 become the Purge show? He's got himself control of the bomb down for now. His teammates do what they can to eliminate Gwyn from the equation. It's a 3v1. There's no ace on the cards for Purge, but we'll see what happens here, because again, Gwyn has to recover the bomb and has to try to make something of this situation. 35 to go. Oh, oh he doesn't even have COVID oh. sneakers. Yeah, this is going to be impossible. <laughs> go, Gwyn, go. Try and stay alive here. There's Perch. Three on the round. Is he a one-trick pony? We'll find out after this. Well, I mean, if you're talking about one-trick ponies, Purge has a handful of different routes he works, but we've seen him on Karachi on defense. He runs it down. He will run straight down mid, straight down any given lane, and he will go for these flanks immediately. We've seen him do it time and time again in Carolina. They just let it happen in round number one. He finds just an open avenue, Carolina. No teamwork existing there in that round. Win the only one able to find a kill. Purge, this has been more of his bread and butter game mode, so he can do it on the kills here. Well, the Ravens have certainly woken up on the wrong side of the nest today. Let's see if they can right the wrongs in the defensive round now. 2-2 two -two split, very even down the map for them, 2A, 2B. It's a heavier stack towards B for Vegas Legion and Purge. Bomb down, smoke out, brought down by Clayster. Great work there to start the round. Attach with the immediate bounce back. I mean, you talk about Vegas playing with confidence, by the way. Didn't even bother throwing a trophy. Just hard committed for the plan, and at least you get the trades. And in the meantime, Nero finds an extra pick. A two versus three now from Carolina. Oh, no. And Nero just shooting right now. Gwen can't get it done. Can't get it done. 7 HP there from Nero. Managed to walk away with his life. Fell and he looked causing a bit of noise. The bomb will be planted. And now a 1v3 retake situation done. Vegas find their second round in a row.
Uh, that's the I'm bored and I don't even care strat. You just throw a smoke, you walk up, you don't waste any time, you don't bait out tax and aids, you just go for it just to get the round over with. Vegas not wasting our time and Purge might have sacrificed his life after he was 3-0, but now Dylan attach a perfect 3-0 start as well. Back to defense for Vegas Legion so far. We've had a taste of both and they've loved it. Two donuts there for the Ravens. Felony and TJ yet to really get things going. Geo as well, not able to really roll. But when Purge and Attach are shooting like they are, Attach still on that three spree. We'll see how that plays out. But for now, Clay's got the bomb. Looks like he's going to be alone, but he's going to run into plenty of Legion players. Well, nice little square up as well. Purge taking the exact same oh. route. This time, Clayster catches them. So adjustments being made by the Ravens. Oh. Now plenty of map control. The instant bounce back they were looking for. A dominant round as they take over mid. An attach might be icy, but Aha. gun down there, nothing to do. Ravens get back on the board. And again, if Purge doesn't even switch up the route, Carolina at least catch them in that moment. Much more efficient on that attack. Yeah, the comms working out there as well. Everybody finding their respective kills. And if they don't, the trades were their own point. Carolina back in this. Still two to one. Let's see if they can find that confidence and ride this further. TJ Haley, the man on your screen, an S&D wonder kid. Many accolades to his name, but the same can be said there of Attach. Both these boys been around the block a few times. Yeah, TJ is certainly a player that on the all-time S&D player list, he is certainly towards the top. Vegas, though, maybe looking to take him to task. They're just going to do the exact same strat that Carolina did. Run it down mid, get the trophies out, purge there for the trade. Quinn does get that first blood, but 3v3, bomb still in hand, and TJ right now in the barrel spot. Ridiculous gunfights to win on the player sitting inside of P1. Power position secured, though, by Vegas. Ooh. And Felony not going to be going on a flank anytime soon. You just saw Purge drop the bomb, so he's trying to get active and make a play. He's made it inside of green. But you have Carolina. They just spread the map. He puts the bomb down in a place where it's easily recoverable by the rest of his teammates, as long as nothing goes too wrong in the next gunfight. Clay takes care of Purge. And now Geo still eyes on that bomb, still in control, attached, likely coming through, trying to make a play happen. Here we go. Bomb in hand, down a man. What have Vegas got? Not a whole lot attaching the one versus three. You had Felony getting active at the right time just to at least make the noise. And TJ doing his job over by bridge. Those are nice shots shooting just a pixel, but 22 seconds left. Nothing really attached can do. I'm just searching for an errant kill if he can connect. Maybe okay. testing the wall bang spots. He's learning as he goes. Uh, more than anything, it's attached just absolutely moving. And what a worthy attempt, man. What a, an effort in the damage department more than anything for attached to stay alive there. But Carolina not letting that situation get away from them. Playing it not as tight as I think they would like to, but they didn't let attached go too far. They had control of him. Win the round. It's just a good setup after those first blood exchanges go through. That's now two rounds in a row where Clayster just catches Purge trying to get to like that level of activity. So I know the first round Purge was able to just run it down, but Carolina team that has certainly done their homework playing off of that level of aggression. That doesn't mean Purge is going to stop and get active again on defense. Carolina 2 2 split, or maybe a 2 1 1. They're going to be playing for picks. Trophy's working. Attach versus Clayster here in this long range gunfight. But Gwyn might be able to get in there and soften up Attach before the fight has to kick off. Very, very tight setup now from Vegas Legion. Eyes on both the bomb sites. 2 2. So again, anyone who gets into a fight is going to be have someone to trade it right away. But we'll see what happens now. Nero's gone over towards A alone. And the only noise that's been made on the map is over by the B site. Found and Clayster getting a couple tags coming in. They're just going to make the move and go for it. No smokes, no trophies. Just going to go and get this down. Smoke coming out after the fact, and that's to get him out. So Carolina end up playing this perfectly. Bomb down for the 4v4. Gwyn not getting active yet, and he times it perfectly. Catches Nero for the first play. Gwyn was the fail safe. Not enough to get any more out of it. Geo gets onto the board. 30 seconds to go, and that bomb goes boom. Carolina Royal Ravens take the lead. For now, it's towards the bomb site. Clayster, oh, brought down by Purge this time. TJ. Position known, has to make something happen here. Fellow from the AC side of the map, the pinch is on. Can Vegas Legion use the life count they've got to take the advantage? Tej in and out, has to win another battle. 10 seconds to go. They're gonna double back for the bomb. Oh, TJ might have done it. He's done it. The S&D 
superstar strikes with a fantastic 1v3 situation. Yeah, I'm feeling like Teach too, maybe a little bit nervous towards the end, but he gets it done. His teammates didn't give him too much to work with, but I see in the end, in the hiding spot inside of Coop, reigns supreme. I think Purge was expecting him to be playing in mid just so we can scooch out and go for those clean shots where he was pre-firing before, but Teach playing it smart so much so that he now has a cruise. Three rounds in a row from Carolina. Trying to keep that gas pedal floored. He's one of two ice men we have in the league, of course, the other one being accuracy, but for now he's holding the title and living up to the name. Great round out of TJ there. Gives the Ravens the lead now in the search. What will they do with it? Vegas on the attack over towards B. Well, they the only player that could spot out anything. The stun maybe connects with some intel, but if it doesn't hit, he's just thinking they're back over by bridge, but if you're out by bridge, you imagine a freebie oh, kill no! on your own teammate no longer feeling like Teach. He curved that baddie too, looking great. Clayster just getting in the way. Well, Teach gets the first blood either way, so he writes the wrong as best he can, but the bomb has gone down over by B. Here comes the retake from the Ravens. Similar story for Vegas now on the defense. Smoked out, blocked the line of sight on Purge, but He's uh, trusting his teammate Geo just to watch the bomb. Bomb's completely free. No one's crossed over towards Bridge, so Purge can play a little bit safer, or you can bait it out your own teammates. Attached, last alive. 15 seconds off the clock, and someone is on the bomb. Did he just uh -oh. get the timing? Timing. To catch these timings. Get some boots. Oh no, Attach has just done it now. That's the round. Oh, Vegas answer back with another absolute blinding 1v3. Nah, they are trolling. <laughs> this is. Horrific work, a damn near war crime out of Ravens. None of what happens in that round makes sense. You kill your own teammate with a cruise missile, <laughs> then you get all the kills after the fact because Vegas trolled back, pushing through the smokes, and then you say, nah, let's not post up and watch over our teammate. They're running in circles and costing each other. <laughs> Dude, was that the hi, I'm Johnny Knox for welcome to Jackass moment of the tournament? I think it might have been. Just about, man. I think it might have been. Wow, there you go. Well, the cruise is gone. We're not going to worry about that for a long time. Tiege manages to nail a peach onto Perch. Here we go. I, I do not trust them at all, even with the man advantage, though. I am nervous still for Carolina, but there you go. Felony ribs Geo off the heady by bridge. You get the bomb down. It's a 4v2. This is impossible to lose. You say it. You say it. Anything's possible. Attaches on 2 HP. Can he get away? Yes, he can. Covering fire there from Nero. 35 seconds. It's a 4v2. Clay holds it down. Nero's all alone now in a 1v4. There's there's no hope, right? I Look, maybe Carolina are just cursed in some capacity, so they're getting all the bad juju out of their system in that one round. So that one, much more clean. The shot's on point. You get the first blood. Felony's got the coverage from top third. That is a hyper-efficient round. Ravens with a decent amount of success over towards this B site. You just got to troll a bit. Get it out of your system. Have some fun, man. Have some Damn, fun. That's not a fun moment. That's not <laughs> what that is. That's not fun at all. Hold my monster. <laughs> Watch this cruise missile. Wow, good times, though. Good times. T's looking towards 10 kills. His first buzz have been on point as well. Gwyn, the last kill of that previous round. His first to six here in Search and Destroy, so the Ravens etching closer to the victory, but Vegas do not count them out. It has been blow for blow back and forth so far. And you have the bomb at least leaning towards this A side. It's not going to be aggressive because it's 2-2 split right now, but long term you expect this might be where the action is taking place. It's double stack though for Gwyn and TJ, so Carolina have made the perfect counter on the defensive end. Oh, wait, wait, uh, uh. Gwyn somehow managed to hop away and get one. The second as Gwyn lives to fight another day. Purge, you're in trouble now. Gwyn's looking for three. He doesn't need it. The teamwork is flowing right now as Gwyn and TJ on that side of the map. The 10th kill found Geo all alone. That stack completely on point. If there wasn't three there, maybe things could have been different. But Carolina, again, the perfect strat in the moment. And Clayster, the PF flyers on. Whoa. Making moves, but doesn't hit a bullet. Nope. 40 seconds to work with. Geo, this is not a fun situation. He has no intel on where these two players are going to be. But maybe a little bit of time if he can get active to try to create just a little bit of magic because you see number four, number three, they're completely split. Yeah, Gwyn, oh, no way. I thought Gio was gonna do it. Oh, I might have had the creak of that door. It's possible. The bomb recovery 
is an option here. 13 seconds. Ah, he didn't, Gwyn can see it, though. He didn't even pick it up, though. He didn't give himself a chance in this round at all. There you go. A worthy gunfire attempt there from Geo, but the Ravens find another wonderful teamwork from them there. Map point. Yeah, credit to Gwyn as well, getting that initial two-piece, and then TJ and Clayster were both nearby. Or Felony, rather, sorry, not Clayster, to make sure they stack the right side. So that is a, a nice blind counter. The intel coming through there from Carolina. And another strong round as well. I'm telling you, man, you get the trolls out of your system, you're feeling great after this point. Oh, don't jinx it, brother. There is no 5-3 curse. There is no 5-3 curse. Attacking round for the Ravens. Looking to close out the search and destroy. Can they get it done? They've left the bomb. Don't need it. Don't need it. It's Renetti's and MCW's. It's rival nines and frag grenades. Clay's double back for it. Ah, oh, what a coward. Geo with the suppression there. T just not going to be able to get into the fight. Felony, though, from top. He might be able to get on that player and at least give Tej the space to work forward. He has that smoke as well to work with. Uh, Purge again. He's getting active. Yeah, gets caught again, though. This time it's Felony responsible for it. So, again, we have Purge. We know what he likes to do on the map. Carolina played around it perfectly. And now because the kill came through over by the B site, A is completely open. It's going to be a free bomb plant. And Clayster... Not quite planning it for the default spot, but you can still check it from a few angles. You get pushed out P2. You got someone watching the junk flank as well. 4v3. Carolina looking to tie this series up. We're asking for something special here, Vegas. Clay, eyes on attach, keeping him pinned down. The rest of the boys making their way through. That's tough work. Geo and Nero have got to go huge just to stay alive in the map. Geo's up next and Teach. Immaculate beams. There it is. The SMG duo of the Ravens close out the map. We're all back to square one. It is 1-1 one, one here in this elimination matchup. They got the bad vibes out of their system. It's fine. We're good. The cruise team kill. Who cares? Ended up being somewhat of a dominant performance as well. When finished with nine kills, TJ ended up with double digits as well. So that SMG duo putting in some serious work. I know Clayster and Felony effectively taking turns, catching Purge, trying to be aggressive. So the teamwork and coordination outside of that one pesky little round, absolutely there. And those adjustments in the picking bands, I'd say from Carolina, finally showing off the good stuff. Yeah, pesky round indeed. We've got the one out of the way. A fun 10 minute Karachi. I must admit that one uh, flew by. Stat screen there for you folks. Those of you who do love the counting. But a great one there. So Purge unable to keep up his historic gameplay from the skid row hard point into the search and destroy. A great first round after that fizzled out a bit. The Ravens will bounce back. They will tie up the series. We stay on Karachi for control chance. And, you know, the first two maps have been, you know, spicy and exciting in their own right. I mean, what has this one got in store for us? Well, last time we saw these guys on this map, it was a 3-1 victory for Vegas Legion in the first respawn. The guns were hot as well. But Carolina, they've had a little bit more time to sort of settle into this series. And obviously, if you lost to Vegas on this map before, you know they're making some adjustments. Adjustments will be made. We're going to make a quick adjustment as we take a commercial break. On the other side of it, though, we're playing Karachi Control here in this elimination matchup. One of these teams is going home home folks the other will march onwards to continue playing later on today here in major two so las vegas legion is the carolina royal ravens this is the cdl upgrade your game with a scuff Save $30 on the official CDL collection at scuff.co slash CDL. Get better with the Scuff, the first performance gaming controller. Visit scuff.co slash CDL to change your game. The Call of Duty League is brought to you by Monster Energy, the official energy drink of the CDL.
just god mode attach right now. Attach right over the top of the car. Oh, oh. Clean. A 1v3. Camaro is not slowing down. Finds his third of the mat. Naked four. Let this young man get hot. It's oh. going to be hard to stop him. Finds an ace on the round through the middle of the map. Purge gets the double kill as well. Geo pops off. Oh. Okay, Geo, I see you, baby. Nero is all across the map. Seven in a row for him. Vegas Legion clutch up. Three to zero. to the Call of Duty League, straight into our scuff play of the game. We're giving it to TJ, the Iceman, with his brilliant 1v3. And it is just quality work again. At this point, there's so little time on the clock after the plant that even though Felony dies, TJ knows, check the bomb, and well, just pick a hiding spot and purge. He just guesses wrong. TJ, a little bit too sneaky, and after that, just makes it free. That's also the play that earned him the cruise missile, which I think long-term, maybe TJ, don't call him in. It's all good. It's all good. You got this, baby. Don't necessarily need them. The idea of the cruise more dangerous than your cruise is for the other team anyway. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Maybe get the intel, but just spin that bad boy off the map. Keep him away from Clayster. But again, he's a vet player. I don't know what happened to the comms in that moment, but him and Clayster are just absolutely having a little bit too much fun on the main stage. But they got the uh, the messy business out of the way. Now they're locked in in focus for this Karachi control. Indeed, Karachi control map number three here in our elimination matchup. We'll see who walks away with the lead here in this series. A tough one as well. I mean, both teams' chance. I don't know which way I'm dressing, but I hate to say it, but the, for the Monster Energy pregame for Carolina Royal Ravens, 99 problems and control. Matt Paul is one. Ay, ay, ay. I mean, of the 99 problems, it's at least like maybe 30 or 35 of them. I know Clayster has had an especially bad run of control for the past few years, like Vegas Legion last year when he was on the squad. Same thing, one of the historically worst control teams we have had, and well, they haven't not exactly made the adjustments. On the flip side, on the defensive end for Vegas, 19 and two on defense is insane. I know a lot of those do come on invasion, but Karachi, they've been looking strong as well. Oh, well, here we go. Two zones, 30 lives each side we take turns attacking and defending clayster into the a zone stops the game clock his teammates are getting stopped all over the map though and this is the only help he's getting right now the support around the actual time and well felony was able to give you two but he got naded off the opening break makes your job that much more difficult tj trying to make a play right. towards b but he's getting caught fellow right now the shining light for the team staying active keeping that pressure on as the a capture continues there's two players now in the zone as gwyn and clays to getting the job done or faster felony's four spree now continues looking for five. Oh, he gets it there was a very unfortunate moment there of a team fire, but either way, he finds the kill, buys the time, gets some info, and that is a captured. That is beautiful work, and again, you can see their idea too, just flooding the point. Glacier's not playing foul positions, looking for kills. Just get on the time and keep that pressure rolling. Now he's gonna be top red, decent damage done, but no kills coming through. Trying to wait for his teammates and the teamwork there, perfect. Clay was about to get traded. TJ's got his back and Whoa. His three players grouped together. But him and TJ, man, stay away from each other. I don't know. Literal blue on blue there, boys, chill. Nero and Purge, great defensive work. TJ managed to cut his way through the defense and he now goes to B. That's the slow cap. A single man for now, but you have the numbers to work out. Reinforcements from the Ravens through the middle of the map. Oh, and TJ just spotted them all. Two players in the long alley, one top red. Gwyn's hunting for a few of them, and TJ right now has to just be the motor mouth in the comms. It's a three down. Everybody off the intel from TJ just picking up their kills, and now you get to stack the zone and watch it fly. Two-man capture. One player for the Vegas Legion on the flank. It's going to be Nero. Can he cause the damage? Here comes the third man on the stack, potentially. Fellow locking it down, keeping these players at bay. That's the round. 
There you go. Nero not even close enough to fight the point at the end. And that is at a lightning pace that they just said. You saw the idea was all about the objective there from Carolina right from the opening break. Barely any power positions being played. It is get on the objective and go from there. And for Vegas Legion, the 19 and two record they had up on the defensive end in control. Well, say goodbye to that. It's felony popping off that round eight kills. Him and TJ putting in some serious work. Halfway towards the cruise missile. We see a felony can keep the blistering pace he set in that opening round. This time ago, Vegas Legion, they'll be attacking. Carolina Royal Ravens now looking to hold that defense. Let's see how we do. Oh, Gwen is just flying, by the way, on this flank. So trying to get a coordination on when you want to jump over on this A zone. Felony getting slightly active. And as the kills start coming through, that's when he make the moves. Oh. Felony, well, didn't open his eyes, but at least he's bought the opening for his teammate. TJ goes on the flank. Gwyn wins his one as well. And maybe he could have lived inside their spawn. But where TJ falls, Gwyn is here to pick him up. Gwyn is looking at a few more potentially. They're not going to take the bait on the stairs. Three players below him. Gwyn could eat well in a moment. I think they're aware of where he is. Oh, beautiful work out of Legion. They clean house. And that's Geo hitting some really nice hop-ups as well to make sure that you can hit him on the flank. But either way, that is a good chunk of time that Vegas just had to invest just to clear out your own spawn. So they've stopped the clock, get back on this A zone. But right now, you have opportunities for a few different players on Vegas, or uh, Carolina, rather, to go on these flanks. Should be able to get Purge out of the point at the very least. Nice work. Geo from up top. Again, they've kept that A zone safe. One segment remaining and only 45 seconds on the clock. Carolina Royal Ravens holding it down here in Karachi so far, but the round is far from over. Lovely work there from Gwyn, keeping it holding. And, and this is perfect too. Clayster's got the cutoff as well, so every single player off spawn. Clay's going to be dishing out these comms to his teammates or just getting the kills himself. The longer he's alive, the worse it is for Vegas. And on a five spree as well, it would have been nice to get number six, but he just feeds the comms to his teammates. TJ on the flank. He might fall, but you get these kills. And right now, Ooh. Vegas, they just do not have time. Tyler. Fellow, pick it up, big kills left, right, and center. Pressure on Clay. Nero with a seemingly infinite amount of ammo in the magazine of that rival nine. T's cutting through mid. That should be the round, unless they can get an A purge. Sends it with two seconds to go. Wins a big one, but not enough to stay alive. Attach at the back door. So close, yet so far. The Ravens, two to nothing. And that is a gorgeous round on the defensive end. They win that opening break and just the coordination that they had. While TJ and Gwen are working those flanks, Felony times it perfectly to start getting active through mid. They get that three man down. And again, they just wasted so much of Vegas's time that you're not able to take your time and coordinate and get on the zone together. So Carolina keeping things mixy. Felony 13 kills in two rounds, not too shabby, but every poppy picking it up there from Ravens. If I'm Carolina, I'm thinking about the objective again. Just bull your way through and straight to that A zone they go. Yeah, they wasted no time, no lives. Barely a bullet trying to take the zones in the previous attempt. Here we go, back onto A. No trophies, two players. Gwyn, nice coverage. Geo unable to find an angle. He's going to have to put himself in harm's way to even get into the fight. Good work out of the Ravens again. Second segment gone. I think he's waiting for his teammates to get active, but Nero does get traded. Finally, his teammates top third. Well, they sniff him out, read the spot to get the power positions as well. But the close junk spawns come through. So Carolina, small window of opportunity to attempt to go towards B. Nero going to slow you down and attach going to be doing the same. The Glacier's made it to the back alley, so the clock is being stopped. The objective's slowly going to trickle. It plays on B. Oh, nice shots out of Geo. Not enough to stop it. Ah, Tej, the assassin. Seemingly unstoppable. He's won another one in top red. Absolute demonic play as the three members of the Ravens are on B, and that zone is gone. Yeah, Geo looking a little bit uncomfortable with the movement up top, so he's going to have to readjust because you already have two ticks of progress on A. Carolina looking for a flawless Karachi performance. Control has been a big problem for them, but right now it's looking like their best help. You haven't checked every corner, though. Geo in such an interesting spot. I can't believe they haven't noticed that. Finally, Nero, there you go. A Nero behind them as well. So a couple of P's and Q's, dot and I's and cross and T's for the Ravens there on the approach, but not a problem. Gwyn is going to turn and hold these players at bay. The Renetti, oh, reload, try again. Felony there for the trades once again. 17-7, and the map is done. They may be blue. 
but the Carolina Royal Ravens are still red hot, especially there on Karachi. And I'm with Placer on that one. That was a map that felt like, what even was that? You had a Vegas in map one where the respawn was just perfect, but he got taken a task. Clay only had to get 10 kills to get that victory. That was a cakewalk of a Karachi. And maybe like the fewest number of kills it's taken for a win in control. The records that are being set in this series, I mean, they're baffling. It's a historic series, ladies and gentlemen. One way or another, but the Ravens take the lead after that decisive Karachi control game. Vegas looked absolutely lost, man. They were stunned, nothing to be had. I mean, it's just like the, the little thing, like the Karachi special, right? We're watching Geo and Attach get the two kills off the guy off the A zone, just to give him the close spawn towards Junk, and Nero's just by himself now dealing with the entire team, and Vegas so slow on that transition, not able to find any of the kills. I mean, they effectively just toss those rounds away, so. Carolina Royal Ravens didn't have to sweat too much for it. They get to conserve that energy for the map four, but advantage in this series. And when they're on that point, again, they came into this event as the 12th seed overall in the CDL. They get this win, they jump up to eight. A huge leap there. That was a five minute and 43 second long game of Karachi control. Tell you what, that is some, that's a real convenient SR grab. We're searching again after that one. You know it, the hands are hot. You want to keep that streak going. We're on fire, boys. That's what I've been telling the crew. There's some magnificent play here. Fellow with a great opener, that first round chance was so strong. I mean, that was like the only sort of like strong individual play that we had the entire map though. Like Felony just going on like a five spree to open things up. But after that, it was just Carolina existing on the objective. Anytime they stepped on a zone just about, they were able to get it flawlessly. Like the B zone, uncontested, both of their offensive rounds didn't have to break a sweat. Even when the Ravens were on defense, the adjustments were made and had a, another flawless round, not giving up a single tick. And I do know when we saw the opening breaks, it seemed like the nades were consistently on point from Carolina as well. So again, I think that repeat map, the homework, A+. Plus. <laughs> I'd love to know what was said on that stage. We can all guess and we can all uh, do our own best to improvise i'm sure reddit's already on it but now it's dig deep time for vegas legion two very tough karachi six three three zero one more map and they leave the tournament this rio hardpoint has got to be something special for our boys from vegas after that the invasion search and destroy if they really want to stay alive in the series but this is going to get very interesting if that rio gets a little bit too hot for them to handle ravens looking fantastic and look it's not like i have my degree in armchair psychology but even looking at the player cams and the way the guys were playing on the map the vegas boys just did not look comfortable on that karachi we get to find out if that's the case if the land or main stage jitters are getting to them because we've seen them on rio they've had strings together where they have had nearly flawless performances the way they started against Toronto Ultra, oh. they built themselves a 100-point lead, oh. and it took the best hardpoint team in the game to be able to make that comeback. Oh. But Legion have looked strong on Rio. That's the map they get for the map four. So a comfort pick for them, their opportunity to get back in the series. Oh, here we go. Tough one for the Vegas Legion fans. We've heard you all weekend. We appreciate your noise. We appreciate your energy. But you're going to need one last dig here for your team who are in trouble. The Carolina Royal Ravens looking fantastic so far. And this is stage two's hard point. These are the break comparisons, Charles. Can you break this one down for us, brother? Well, both of these guys have just been fantastic. Part of this certainly does come towards map played as well. But the fact that we're going towards a Rio where the breaks do come a little bit easier. Only a few true money hills we have on this map. That means you can afford maybe to play off the back foot a little bit and put the emphasis to the proper hills, especially P2 and P3, where you really want to lock down those back spots. On. So I know right now for the side of Vegas Legion, they're going to be spawning on the deep side of the map. I mean, their opportunity for a strong opening break, try to string some hills together. But on Rio, almost a similar story for Carolina where they had limited success early on. But coming to the event, they look strong. I know Gwyn against Miami Heretics. He came out on this map. He was shooting. That boy was shooting. Let's we'll see if we can get the Thursday Legion on us here. They look good against Toronto Ultra. How will they look against the Carolina Royal Ravens? Into the hard point, we fly. Is Carolina looking good so far? They spawn on the preferable side, not necessarily the best side. There's the contest. And soon to be the time. Gwyn's gone around the world, around the world. Can't get a second. Well, uh, maybe I punk for that second kill, but his teammates there to pick him up. Nice and oh. quick purge, though, with a nice little win, but still Ravens fighting around the time. 
CJ has let a player through, but that player didn't like to go towards time, so he just gets caught. So Vegas right now, again, maybe looking a little bit uncomfortable. Carolina applying the pressure, and TJ, pick up the kills, pick up the rotation, whatever you want. He might fall. This has been a wonderful P1 so far for Carolina. Okay, great. Play on everybody at the last bullet, and Gwyn there to help out. He gets by with a little help from his friends. Purge, the only man left up there from Vegas to try to contest, or at least keep these players off the time. And it's done. Over towards P2, we now go. Bottom right-hand side of the minimap. You've covered so much of the map space as well for Vegas. You got Nero playing a deep pocket of the map, and you also have Attach pushed out incredibly far. So Carolina, not going to be an easy thing to break down, and they're not successful. Felony wins the gunfight in the back, though. I was going to say maybe that could open the spawn for his teammates. It does not. Purge gets the trade, and Carolina spawning is so far away from this time. Far away. Easy opportunity right now for Vegas Legion to take back the lead and at least get themselves back into this game. Nero holding down the hill for his teammates. TJ on the close approach. Can he get any closer? Fellow kept at bay. A strong, legendary AR of attach. And now you got number five as well, pushing out far enough that Carolina are spawning out on the opposite side. So an opportunity for Vegas to run the score up and Carolina need to be harder, better, faster, and stronger on this new hill. If they want to get back in the game. Maybe it's going to be close to tied up, but Vegas set themselves up pretty well, but they actually never got active and tried to push Ooh. through for the spawn. So a squandered opportunity. And again, maybe these nerves on the main stage getting to him as Carolina win that rotation. They do indeed. There was a bit of discovery there over towards the hard point. Nero, oh, he's just guessing all over the place. Looking at teammates, there's a lot of noise up there. Sensory overload towards the new point. Back in the hands of the Ravens. Breaks on breaks here. Geo now lining up for the hit. Trophy working overtime. Tej, he's been pushed back. Can you get into the hill now? Purge leading the charge. He and Geo taking the escalators the slow way and felony punishes them. I mean, just like Tron, he's trying to have himself a legacy series right now. He has been on point. And now Placer just gets to be the super soaker in the time. The sun's though gonna drop him. Nero soars through and is able to pick up two, but the back spawns pay off. Gwyn strikes right back, just like the Empire. And well, that hill time, the final bit of scrap. Carolina get to run the score up. Oh, they're gonna run the score up one more time because they had it to begin with. Lightning fast hit from Nero there. Gets himself a sweet pair. And now the final moments of this hard point come to a close over to the garage. Well, the garage, my British comrades. New hard point, Vegas in control. Yeah, Carolina finally dropped the rotation and they're not trying to drop the beat on this new hill. Vegas to get the back spawns on their lock and key. A couple kills flowing their way and it is now just a funnel system. Everybody from Carolina trying to flood in through the back, but right now Vegas, it has been a very comfortable hold for him so far. DJ finally able to strike but right now Vegas just comfortable Geo though oh. eventually feels the pressure in the overwhelming flock of the Ravens they break the hill down another break for the Ravens add that to the stat sheet purge off spawn 25 to go doesn't want to give up too much of this but they're going to chalk it top side of the map from south to north we now go the bridge and it's going to be a tough one. Vegas find the kills. Looking at the rotation now. Those are big entries as well. That is so much scrap time that they just had to trade away. You need to find the moment to really set yourselves apart. And I know Gio, the man that was looking uncomfortable on the Karachi, only two kills so far. This has been a map where Gio has been on point now. He cannot get anything going. Can't get it going. Not looking so aerodynamic here. Brand new hard point. There's 60 seconds of time to be grabbed. Oh my goodness, Gwyn has just slid on in. He finds two, TJ backs him up. Attach is now under pressure. Tej keeping them at bay, keeping them on their toes. There's so much work to be done here for Vegas, and they are being drowned out by Carolina. I mean, that was just too easy. The French duo broke up, and that hill just got broken down. Vegas not able to hold on, but at least you strike back just a little bit, try to get Purge in the time. That is going to be his home, but you still have a lot of pressure on the map for Ravens. Gwyn working through up top. He's got the reinforcements and help of Felony and Purge. Again, just the angle. clacer has got it. The kills there for the Ravens. It is breaks on breaks, but once again, Again, that is such good scrap time from Carolina. They're going to maintain that 50 to 60 point lead. Well, the scrap time working out. Back over to our brand new set of hard points we go. Let's start this again. Carolina Royal Ravens, quick listen in. I'm going to come up and skis with you. I'm standing over soda. I'm standing soda. Nothing weak soda. I'm about to chow in a second. Attach one shot soda. Nothing in our side. You. Bridge one shot. Bridge one shot. Skis, 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 skis. 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 Skis, skis,
This guy's just gonna play spawners. Yep, he's playing spawners. He's playing spawners. Yeah, 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 he's playing spawners. Nero's in new on four. Purge on new, I'm dead. I'm dead by There's two on new, guys. It's Purge and Nero, both cop car, okay? I stun him on the cop car. I stun him, old hill. Geo dead old. Nice. Another one on me, right? I hear you. I'm trying to help you. You're right. I'm coming. One shot. I have him. I have him. He's dead. Nice. Missing one. Missing one. Cop car. Cop car. Let's go. I needed it. I needed it. I needed it. I'm sure I'm passed out, Isaiah. Carolina putting in the overtime, and I love the comms from Fellow. He's been criticized for the lack of slang, but right now he's bringing the slang and he's calling out every player exactly where they are, making it easy for his teammates. But the final square up for this little bit of scrap time, Vegas looking at pounds. Gwyn trying to keep these guys at bay, but the overwhelming force of Nero is there. And bad news from Carolina, they're still stuck spawning in the back. The young Emperor fighting his way, desperately trying to stay alive in this tournament. TJ finally brings him to his knees. Usurped on the way towards the new hard point. Open for now. Vegas Legion with position. It's going to be Purge who has to get himself into that hill, as he did so well on Skid Row. Oh, that's a good spot there from Gwen, but Gio actually still oh, gets the game, and he gives you two. Gio in the second half has been a monster compared to the first half, so he's finally finding his groove. You get the back spawns for Vegas, and this is the money hill to get you back in the game. Vegas, they have found their form. Vegas are fighting. Vegas are fighting. Attach, keeping these players out of the bridge. No one's getting close to the point for now. It's going to be one solid hit from the Ravens. Trying to break. 30 to go. Through boxes. Geo, another two. Look, man, he had maybe four kills on the first set of rotations in the second half. He has really found himself. The comfortability is there, and this man now cannot be killed. He is moving. Five spree. Done. Felony ends it. I mean, it was a new hard point, an unfortunate timing. As Attach has managed to let Felony through. Clayson are there to reinforce. The pinch is on. The Ravens are in. You get the pinch spawn, though. You got Gio on one side of the map. His teammates are going to be spawning on the other. So Gio wants to stay alive oh. while his teammates get active. But TJ goes and hunts him down. Big moment for Carolina. He is stabilized. And now it is all guns forward. Light work for the boys in blue. The boys in blue on board now with Clayster. On top of that little bicycle, it's a magnificent power position here on this hard point. Can James Eubanks keep the members of Vegas Legion at bay? Over 200 points, now we go. Up high, it's Geo. Again, a second from Nero, they're in. That was a serious amount of coordination for the stuns and nades there, just to overwhelm the trophies. The break is important time to get it, but the oh. fight for scrap is still gonna go. Purge at least gives you one, but these two teams desperate for it by the looks of it, Vegas. Well, they've secured it, you've done it. You fought that rotation towards new. In 12 seconds before the hill pops, Vegas, they got time to form. This is tournament life on the line right now for Vegas Legion, and that is a lead change. We are not over yet, ladies and gentlemen, going to another hard point. Once again, the bridge. Ravens in position first. Purge trying to fight forward. His teammates are helping him get this far. TJ's on the flank. A devastating moment right now. Clayster's in the hill. Uh, he's got so many directions to look, though, and eventually Geo's able to find him. TJ, though, is there for the quick trades, and Carolina still hold on. Legion saw fly to the point. He has to try to break the trophies. Purge manages to find the angle. Purge is in. Purge alive. Brought down. Fellow with a trade. Ravens hard point. Hit fire on point, but he can't get it done. It is another set of trades coming through. The oscillation battle underneath this bridge. And for the first time all game, Vegas have finally taken the lead. Back in. Quinn through mid, Purge wins it. The clock still ticking in favor of Vegas. Felony trying to find the opening, but he might just be looking for a new hill. And look, Carolina are going to be here first, but it is going to be about a four second game for Vegas to win it. It is one break to force the map five. Carolina stagnant, waiting for these kills to come. Oh, Purge finds it. We're going to find out what you're made of now, Vegas. You've come so far in the tournament. Nero cuts him down over to Tej. Last man. He's got to stay alive. God, get it. Game five. We're going the distance.
distance. What a rumble in Rio that was. An absolutely tippable out of Gio. I'd be hyping that man up too because he was not getting active in the first half of that game. He was struggling. Two and eight going into the Bridge Hill. Couldn't buy himself a gunfight, but that man finished even the second half. He was on point. And obviously that's credit for the comeback. His teammates there the entire time. Good slang across the board. Nero especially lighting up the kill feed, but we take a look at that game flow graphic. That is going to be Carolina Ravens with the lead virtually for 95% of that game. Vegas lion hearted. They fought back and got in the mix. That is one hell of a real hard point. What resolve for the boys there. Legion have fought one extra life here. A uh, quick look at the stats there. You can see the time across the board. That's all I'm looking at now. I can't help but try to keep count off of the historic matchup earlier today. But for now, unbelievable showings. We're going to a final map, Invasion, Search and Destroy, to decide who marches on in the in the tournament. And look at that game flow. What a brilliant back and forth showing towards the end. It just took him so long to find that form. Just the, the slaying prowess that Carolina had. And it really was eventuality. It's not like crazy mistakes were being made by Carolina. It just turned into a situation where just certain players, they could not trade. Geo picking up two pieces left and right. Nero was at one point a one man wrecking crew lighting up the kill feed. So the trade is not there in the hard point saving Vegas in this series just to go to that map five. But invasion is going to be a spicy one indeed. It is slow pace. It is all about those mid round adjustments. Who can clutch in this game five? Well, it's a packed house here at Major Two, We're ready to roll into our first game five of the day. It's only the first series of a very long and exciting day of COD. Come back after the break. We play invasion, search and destroy. We find out who advances the tournament and who goes home here at the CDL. your competition with the executive chef operator now available in game in the call of duty store upgrade your game with a scuff save 30 dollars on the official cdl collection at scuff.co slash cdl get better with the scuff the first performance gaming controller visit scuff.co slash cdl to change your game
All bets are off. It's game five time here in Major 2. Vegas Legion taking on the Carolina Royal Ravens, and it is absolute nail biter so far. And we get to figure out who the apex predator on the main stage really is. The stakes in this game, well, not the highest just yet, except for the fact that if you lose, you go home. Winner advances to top six. These teams looking to make a deep run in the tournament. Carolina, they entered into this tournament as the 12th seed, a victory here. They jump into the top eight. That is the threshold cutoff for champs long term. They desperately want this win. You double your prize money as well with a victory, and you get to continue to play Call of Duty. Game five, though, for Carolina. I mentioned it before. It's a pain point. A team KD of 0.64 in the game fives. Oh, this has been a squad that breaks down in Vegas Legion with a touch more ice, but the round win percentage, the opening duels for Carolina, it is not comparable. They have never had it. Well, they need it now. We'll find out what our teams are made of. One final map in the series. We're going to overtime. It is invasion, search and destroy. Carolina had the advantage in the opening Karachi search. It was a 6-3 finish, and as you can see from the records, I mean, either way, both teams have had their fair share of reps on it. But we'll find out what our boys are made of today. And I could only imagine how many different Game 5s players like Clayster and Attach have had in their careers. Oh, DJ, man. too. Countless hundreds at this point, even on the main stage. Well, looking for that extra feather in their cap. Carolina on the attack first, and... Their s &D weirdness continues. They didn't initially get that bomb. Felony goes to collect. They see the setup, Purge. He doesn't have much support. He is aggressive in the middle of the map. It's only Geo that can watch over him. And Carolina not wasting too much time. They are clearing space. They are leaning towards A. No monsters under these beds so far. It's a very fastidious approach. Check every corner, make sure no one's in any places to surprise us. Purge is that man right now. Will Felony check it? The usual spots are there, but right now, it's Purge. First blood. Day one, credit bomb oh. down. Purge gives you two. Oh. Things off right. The rookie on the main stage devastation has been laid out, and Clayster now in a one v four. The Purge J masterclass in a game five. What a way to kick things off. What a way to start it. And can he close it with an ace as well? He's had eyes on Clayster. Is he going for it? No, it was ruined. But wow, Purge, what a three. And this is a rookie on the main stage for the first time in a game five like this. If there was any nerves he had, they have just been washed away. Looking at it again, freebie first kill. Carolina not checking the credits, and then they just can not trade this man, Purge, gunning them all down. Absolutely outstanding start. Those tricks won't work twice in a row, especially against players like the caliber of the Royal Ravens. A lot of veterans over there. That man on your screen, three world championships to his name. He's got to get one more, right? Let's find out, though. Got to get through this series first. Back over to Purge. Three spree from him. Clay's just by himself, too. Good news for Clay, though. That kill he got in that first round gives him enough of a, a buffer to get that trophy. So he can afford to be a touch more aggressive while defending B. You got attached, watching the late flanks, as is tradition for Vegas on this map. You have plenty of repetitions rolling through. A couple nades get exchanged. Less utility now for Carolina to work with. So Carolina does not want to get this bot plan up. No, they've got a lot of angles covered here. They have the numbers as well. TJ's on the pinch through the back alley. Finds one, traded out immediately. Oh, Gwyn trying to get into the fight, not without a pound of flesh. It cost him a lot, and he's have to pull back. Attached spot, they know Gwyn is going to be in this corner. They're looking for the trades. The nades coming through, and it is perfection. Attached doing his job perfectly. Man advantage for Vegas. And Felony might have the reads, but you almost don't want to give this bomb out. He's had to double back quickly, but it might not have been fast enough. Nero. Oh, Clay beats down the young man. Makes it a 1v2. One HP in a dream. Nero and Itachi is going against in 30 seconds left on that bomb before it explodes. Itachi going for the chow. Clayster, pistol in hand, cannot get it done. In Vegas Legion, that is a perfect round. Those players might have getting getting pieced up by the nades over by the tank. TJ might have gotten the first blood, but the trades are there. And the read Attach had on Gwyn 
It is a big theme of Invasion. How does that flank watcher want to play the rounds, attach? Well, so experienced now at this point. Gets the job done. Two-round advantage. In Carolina, you get opportunities in round one when there's no trophies on the board, but offenses, they get more tougher as the game goes on. Indeed. Those trophy systems working brilliantly here on Invasion. All these nade spots, long lines. Oh dear, speaking of long lines of sight, that's the map cut in half and TJ backs up. And now you're just so uncomfortable. Nero's already hiding in rugs. You know you've just given up so much space on the map. And again, because Geo defending B has a trophy and attached looking over him. B site not looking too exciting. And you can see just how concerned they are about Nero. But a player that is occasionally over child, patient. Now in this moment. Clay's trying to make sure he doesn't make it his way out through the front side. TJ's going to go in in a moment. Oh, it might be Clay to do it. You might want to send two people for it. Clay with the old in and out. There's the bait and switch. It's an old trick, but a good one. Playing against Nero, man. They know how to read the man. Man advantage, though. But still no map control. They're leaning towards B, but with only 30 seconds on the clock, you're going to have to start getting active. It's still not easy, even with a man up. Less than 30 seconds. Gio having a back up. He's taking a hit or two. He's going down swinging. A lot of damage dealt, but that is still the site in control for the Ravens. That should be the plant. Smoke out as well, so Attach can't even get kills on the cross. Trying to make a play Whoa. through it though, but doesn't have the angle. It was a dead body, not TJ. And small feet on that man, staying alive after the bomb plant. 3v2 now for Ravens. Surge trying to help get closer to the site. Attach finds two. Gwyn on the site now. Purge moving forward. They brought him down. 1v1. Felony versus Attach. Somehow they have made magic in this moment. 20 on the clock. I can't believe Felony made this play. He wrapped so far around, but he's got to be worried about the bomb getting defused. The bomb is still yet to be touched. The 15 seconds on it. Attach is there. Eyes are up, ready. He may have missed his opportunity. He's on a force spree as well. Doesn't want to be brought down by a stray gunfight. He'll take it. Not enough time. But what? A retake opportunity from Vegas Legion. And that is a terrifying moment for Fellow. Attach, if he hopped it, he would have gotten it, but he played the man. Two veteran players getting after it, but maybe a small amount of good news for Attach. In a round that is a two versus four for the post plant, he still finds enough kills that he's just one away from the crews. Talk about making the best of a bad situation, but Carolina just avoided what could have been a dagger round. We found out there that, that rotation from Fellow was 17 seconds he spent to make that play. Bomb easily diffused in that time. Seven and a half is all it takes to make that boom boom go bye bye. And now you're going to have attached though. Take all the time in the world to try to get this extra kill. Other players on Vegas can make more of a commitment if they would like, but it's his operation. Get this man the cruise. Again on invasion of cruise missile, that kind of ordinance incredibly helpful. One minute on the clock. No movement, no nothing. Vegas, though, maybe taking a little bit too much time. 40 seconds have gone by, and they don't have any intel on any player position on Carolina. And I don't know if they saw the cross initially, but TJ, he's found himself the credit. The stun connects. Well, they know now. They're stacked up. The smoke. TJ's going to try to get out with his life. 40 seconds. We're still clocked. Oh, my God. The nade nearly stuck him. TJ buying time. Ravens reinforcing now. TJ, check it. Gets it. Nero gone. Massive first blood. Now you just don't have time. Attach has been playing for a kill this entire Ooh. time. He's going to get the cruise, but you don't have time. You got to get active. Purge finds an extra, but 20 seconds on the clock. They got to run it down. Got to make something happen here. Get that bomb over towards the bomb site ASAP. Clayster, his life flashed before his eyes. He's still alive, though. Oh, the pinch has been picked up. They've won it. Vegas, make the moves. And not only is it now a 3-1 lead, but the cruise missile secured again. And Ravens are looking flat as well in this invasion. TJ gives you the first blood, but even with that little time on the game clock, Ravens cannot ice up. And Vegas right now seemingly can do no wrong. 7-0 for attach. 6-2 from Purge as well. And you got a cruise missile, you got a defense. Vegas are in prime position to get themselves a massive lead. It's outstanding composure from Purge there at six and two in this game five. I don't they can burn it as much as they want. Vegas holding it together. The Ravens though, we're looking towards the A-bomb site. That door may blast open in a moment. That's gonna see Purge spring to life and there it is. Oh, he's gonna be slowing him down, but just for the reposition, no bomb plant coming through just yet. 
The Vegas are keeping the setup. Purge, though, ends up getting caught. They knew Clayster was back there, but didn't play off the intel correctly. First blood and what should be a bomb down for Carolina, but taking a little bit too long, and Felony in the meantime is going to fall. Whoa, attach managed to get the damage in. The spree's over. Space to maybe plant the bomb here. He's still worrying about those other players from Vegas. Geo and Nero pressuring the bomb. That's Tiji's job now. Plant that bad boy. If Nero can catch him off the plant, if you keep the man odds even, there's the hope for the retake, but the Vegas boys definitely have their work cut out for him. He's staying very close to the site as well. Last ditch. Geo guns him down. Over to Quinn. Plenty of noise being made. Clay can't get them both. 1v1! And Gwyn came very, very close to losing that round for the Ravens there. It was a dicey one, but he got it. Clayster got tags and Nero as well. Nero just ready for this snap on the doorway chow, but either way, that is a big round from Carolina. You win an offensive one. I know the Cruz is still in the back pocket, but efficient work on that A site. Gwyn and Felony struggling so far in this game five, but you're back on the defensive end. But you really cannot afford to give up a bomb plant with that cruise missile and attach his hands. No, not at all. Huge amount of information gained there from Vegas, leading off the opening break. All of the Ravens players seemingly made aware. Well, Vegas actually, they might have seen two players on the cross, so this is an isolation play, trying to find Gwyn over towards P1. They know Gwyn is indoors. The cruise doesn't buy you anything. And in the meantime, they might have taken control of Cafe, but that cruise gets you virtually nothing. Over towards the A-bomb site. Gwyn. Damn, son. The Michael Bay movie over here. Backs up, gets away with his life. The bomb might be going over to B in all that noise. Well, it's just a default round at this point, so the cruise missile completely ineffective. In less than 45 seconds on the clock, and Gwyn even finds the first uh -oh. blood. Nero, though, responds, but the trades are coming through. TJ making another big play. One HP was all he needed. The bomb is still mobile, and now it's going towards B. Tej, he could win the round here. The COD gods have not smiled upon him. And Clay watches them double back again, so the mind games continue, but Clay, the vet, knows what's up. And they know the play's on A, too. Oh, oh. That makes it a little bit more interesting. Nero can't finish it. But Clay can. My God, a series of unfortunate events in that round, but we find the equalizer. And that is a heads up play by Felony in that moment. Clay's feeding in the McCons. They know the bomb is absolutely over on the A site. Felony trusts it. He gets active and then he knows that trade is coming through. He just slides away a little bit too fast to not get traded. And Clayster not wasting any time either. Very quick on that trade. Tied up three to three. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Fellow shots down range. It's about as far as you can shoot on invasion. It's a big map. Just information trying to keep those players at bay. For now, Vegas all over the map. Purge making the adjustment though. He's found a hiding spot over on the A Street. So he's going to wait for the timing or maybe the intel on when to pop up. Try to get these kills off A. The card yet to explode though, and there is no trophy. So it is a risky play to attempt to make. Purge trusting himself and his teammates in this moment. Yeah, at this point in time, a, a read is all you're going to get on that purge spot where he is now. He could stop the bomb plant with good communication from his team. He could stop them getting out. 40-ish seconds to go. Maybe Spidey senses tingly, though, for Carolina. Debating on that rotation over towards the B site, but nope, it's a hard commitment now. Less than 30 seconds left. They're going to have to go towards A and purge. He's remained in this spot. Tremendous patience from the young Rook. And there it is, Stars and CT, so it has not worked out. He might be able to get the kill now on the transition off the bomb site. There it is, first blood. Purge now holding still. We're not leaving this POV. He might go big against Felony. His teammates through the middle of the map now. Nero sends it. Clayster guns him. Pressure now on. The purge battle on the outside of the map continues. 25 on the clock. And now you just don't have time. He's going to close the door and try to make Carolina tweak. Or maybe he's just going to full send. Quinn, though, Ooh. checks the bomb. The coverage is only there for the trades. And with 15 seconds left, Vegas, they got to fly. 2v2. Got to make something happen here. It's two individual gunfights across the map. Attach wins his. Felony gets him off the bomb. That should be it. The time has been set. It is done. Attach 
cannot defuse. The round goes to the Ravens. What a banger. And these young players on Vegas struggling to coordinate in the way they need to. Purge makes the play, but Nero just overcommits on the chase, makes a solo play, and cannot get it done. And just puts his teammates in a tough spot. Vegas so close. The ideas are there, but the execution just a small step away. Three rounds in a row from Carolina and Felony and Gwynn, the players struggling early on. Well, now starting to go on some streaks. Felony on a three. Feeling more confident. And getting a good chunk of map control as well. We've seen players clear out this spot, but Gwynn, he's going for the sneaky one. This might be the round where nobody clears it. We'll find out. Nero, he's trying to check. If he sees it, Oh, you're in trouble now, Quinn. Did Didn't see his gun. Didn't see his gun. gun. He's going to go in there. Don't go in there, Nero. It's not safe. Oh, my good God, Gwyn. Will you be gifted a pair? Information. Oh, Gwyn. One. Not the second, though. Purge. Great shots. Purge has been a monster. That is a huge trade to get. And Geo finds the pick in the meantime. So man advantage. And they've collected the bomb as well. Back over to the woods. Top broken D through the smoke and in the purge once again. Finds the kill. 3v1. All down a fellow. Well, he's got the timing on the flank, but Gio, he's just watching it around out of the rooks. Look at those two players go. Purge and Gio together executing in that round. Purge on the trade. That is not an easy moment because Gwyn with that trigger discipline was setting himself up for the two piece, but. A big win in that moment, and Geo able to find three in that round. Gunning down one of the best players of all time and follows up after that with a couple more kills. Geo making plays. Asking you shall receive two from the rookies there from Vegas Legion. One of the criticisms of his play, right place, right time, but not necessarily as lethal in the gun skill department. It's kills like that that make all the difference. Icing up in these game fives. This is a nail biter. The pressure continues to mount. Purge just picked a new spot as well. So he's been keeping things mixy. Carolina consistently having to second guess themselves. And with number one and number two in the back of the map like this for Carolina, I think they're waiting for a guy like Nero maybe to get overactive. They spotted him in broken, a couple shots coming through, but no first bloods have fallen just yet. And it's such patient gameplay from Purge. Patience running out, though. 50 seconds on the game clock. We're just on the outside of the A-bomb site for the Ravens, desperately trying to find the space and find the plant, and there it is. Purge, though, it's going to be looking for this trade. How fast can you get out? Fast Whoa. enough, the coverage is there. Gwen protecting his friend. You got the man advantage. Still holding together mid-map, not a safe place to be. Nero is so tagged up. Clay might send it. He does. He sends it, but attach. Fantastic coverage. 30 seconds. Both teams helping each other out. Time, though, ticking. Vay is going to have to start getting active. Uh -oh. Attach finds another pick, and now you've isolated him. You know the two players are going to be around Cafe. Hold it together, Gwyn. You know they have to cross. 20 seconds. Wins one. Can't be traded out. Felony now has to keep the bomb safe alone. Now that's it. That's the round. And that's match point, Vegas Legion. Gio has been on point. This man is a second half player. That is now four kills in a row. He's gotten the, the two piece in back to back rounds. Gio on point, trades there. Nice shots on Felony. And even though Purge falls for the first blood, Vegas still bounced back. Clayser just getting caught on that street by attach. Not playing around that time. It is standing room only here in the BCC. One more round for Vegas Legion. And for these two youngsters to march onwards in this tournament. It's an attacking round. Ravens have to ice up. And towards B they go. No players now on the cross. They were looking for the timing. Geo getting that information, but he hasn't seen a soul. TJ finally makes the moves, but they know TJ is going to be by Broken. Now the question is, what do they want to do? Maybe with that level of aggression, if they're seeing an SMG, now they're thinking it's a 2-2 split. Vegas, they might have read this perfectly. Taking care of the trophies as well. The trophy gone is a big deal. Able to check all the usual spots now. Less than a minute. The Ravens are holding firm. And TJ's been left. Clay start wrapping back, so... Trying to make this hold on the defensive end. Geo's responsible for the streets of TJ. No opportunities to flank just yet. But a tight setup now from Carolina defending this A site. Gwyn's going to have to pick up a couple. 
They're on the outside of the street. That's the gunfight. Gwyn, hold your nerve. Do not let go of that angle. You know that doorway is going to bust wide open any second now. Or is the bomb going to cut through the middle of the map? Head on a swivel. Gwyn's down. Back over to Clay. Shots at range. Time is running out. Someone's got to make the play. TJ's trying to get active, but the bomb gets planted, and Nero still alive for the moment. Gets it. Take it out. TJ got the kill. We got a 3v3. 3v3, 35 seconds on the clock. Geo holding that streak. TJ, if he hits it, he's in danger. Purge through the middle of the map, but Clay, the vet guns him. Old man's back at it again, but now you got it. It's a 1v3 attached, nowhere to go. And the Ravens have forced the round 11. Oldest player in the league, but gunning players down when you needed him to. The absolute finest, the dream situation. Elimination round. Here we go. One final flight for the Ravens, another roll of the dice for Legion. It all comes down to this. Attacking round for the Ravens. Vegas Legion on defense. And these are the round. What kind of play call do you make on the round 11 on the attack? How do you want to approach this? TJ leading the charge. Rival nine in hand going towards Cafe. They're clearing it out, getting the space, checking all the corners. Is it Old Faithful? Do you try something new? Do you get creative? What do you do? Forget how to feel and just get out there. As the tension in the air now is palpable. Spot it out. Teach falls. And Nero gets out too. That's first blood. Big moment for Vegas on the defensive end. And Vegas going to hold that line and hold their nerve. The only player they can isolate right now is Nero playing by the bomb. And they've got to get that bomb back as well. So Nero, a tall task. 40 seconds. He's backed up. Enough space, though, for Clay to recover. He did get spotted, but he's gotten out, and this is such a difficult position to weed someone out to Carolina. Doesn't look like they want to deal with it. They're going through mid. They can play the trade game on the site. They've got the numbers. Fellow spotted out. Wins a big one. 3v3. Bomb's going down. Attach not there to be able to stop it. Two players grouped in the back, and maybe Nero the opportunity to make the flank on the play, but for a 3v3, Carolina, can they hold on? The final retake for Vegas Legion. One more crack at it. Play on the outside. Gwyn! Perfect timing. Nobody else is making moves. Staying secure. They were looking for the trade on Gwyn, but time is ticking. Vegas, you gotta go. 25. Fellow checks it. Safe. Attach and Geo still on the maneuver. Geo makes it a 2v2. Onto the bomb we now go. Fellow. Will he check this? Gifted. No one on the bomb. All down to attach. It's a 1v1. Time. It's not worked out. Again, it's Fellow, it's the Ravens. It was a split second decision and Felony wins it. I cannot believe what we have seen. The King of Clutch dethroned in a regicide of a round 11. That is an unreal performance in that game five. Felony was struggling in those early rounds, but every kill he got in the final few, that is an insane impact on the map. Just catching those players out on those rookie mistakes. That was a bomb down after Nero got that first blood and they clutched the 3v4. The resolve on point and Carolina on land. Well, their journey continues. There's little moments like that. I mean, Vegas don't know that Tej was carrying the bomb for certain there. They don't check the body. Nero doesn't cover it well enough. Clay goes on the impossible recovery mission to get it back. And with that, you're given that opportunity to get the bomb down. It's moments like that that define a series. What a round 11 that was. What a search that was. What a series that was. I mean, that's just unreal. I mean, you want to tip the cap to Vegas as well, because the comeback they just had on real, one of the best maps we have seen this year. So Vegas certainly in this stage that made a lethal threat. They got rookies on the team, but that's like a roster change they make that is one of the most criticized we have had, and they clearly have made the correct call. Purge has been a, a spectacle to watch on the main stage, double digits in the map five. I know a pain point, maybe one that'll haunt you in your dreams for the next few weeks, but that is not a performance to be ashamed of at all.
More so just credit for Carolina. It is veteran players across the board. They live for land and they deliver in the big moments. That is the classic 